Thank you, Scott. Isn't it awesome? And these guys only had two, two and a half weeks to work on this stuff. So imagine what they're going to do in the next few months. People are going to go crazy. So we've seen some really great apps. Let me show you another one of our apps uh, that we're very excited about. Of course, that's an ebook reading app. Now, Amazon's done a great job of pioneering uh, this functionality with their Kindle. And we're going to stand on their shoulders and go a bit further. So this is what a Kindle looks like. I'm sure many of you have used one. This is reading a book on the new iPad. It's really nice, and our new app is called iBooks. Now, iBooks has a bookshelf. Looks like this, where you have all your books. If you want to read one, we just saw what it looks like. It's terrific. You can go into Portrait and see both pages if you'd like. And in addition to having your bookshelf and being able to read books, there's a button in the upper left corner of the bookshelf, which is the store. And we've created the new iBook store, fully integrated with the iBooks app to allow you to discover and purchase and download eBooks right onto your iPad. So you can discover books. We've got, of course, our top charts lists, the New York Times bestseller lists, and we've got five of the largest publishers in the world that are supporting us in this and are going to have all their books on the store. And we're going to open up the floodgates for the rest of the publishers in the world uh, starting this afternoon. So we're going to have a lot of books on the bookstore. We're very excited about this. I think it's going to be a great app. So let me go ahead and show it to you. So there's our bookshelf, and here's some of our books. And probably the best thing is let's go into the store right now. I hit the store button, and it's kind of like a secret passageway. It uh, flips around, <laughs> and here is the iBook store. And if you've used iTunes or the App Store, you're already familiar with this. And uh, we can look at books here. We can look at the New York Times bestseller lists, et cetera. And let's go back here. And uh, I want to actually buy True Compass by Edward Kennedy. So I just tap on it. I get more detail about it here. Take a look at the reviews of it. And I'm going to buy it. I get a sample of it to read if I'd like, but I'm, I'm sold already. So I'm just going to go tap on it and buy this book. And the book downloads right onto my bookshelf like that. And that's all there is. It's just so simple. And now if I want to read that book, I just tap on it. And here it is. And this is what it's like to read a book. I have some controls. I can just tap in the center and the controls go away, get them back, send them away. And to flip the page, I just flip forward. I tap anywhere on the right. And I flip forward. Flip back, just tap on the left. And that's it. I can even flip myself if I want by dragging it, if I'd like, you know. <laughs> Very simple. And uh, I can go to the table of contents here. And um, I can uh, just uh, pick a chapter and go there. I'm going to pick uh, part two, Brotherhood. And again, you can have photos, black and white, or color. You can have video, if you'd like, in your books, whatever, whatever the author wants. It's very, very easy. And this is what it's like. And we can uh, change the font size if we'd like, bigger or smaller. We can change the font, pick a different font. Whatever you want. And that is iBooks. So iBooks, again, a great reader, a great online bookstore.
the iBookstore, all in one really great app. We use the EPUB format, and so it is the most popular open book format uh, in the world. And we're very, very excited about this. We think the iPad is going to make a terrific ebook reader, not just for uh, uh, popular books, but we are also very excited about textbooks uh, as well.